IXC summon Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! Neo Galaxy Eyes, attack with ultimate photon stream of destruction! Hey guys, it's Aremia and we're playing Galaxy Eyes. The new support is here and it is amazing. I am loving this deck right now. But before we jump into the games, who is your favorite rival character in Yu-Gi-Oh? Mine is Kite Tenjo. He's, he's new age Kaiba, but that doesn't make him bad. He's still cool. I really like him, even, even though he's a strawberry head. So anyway, let's get into the games. Galaxy Eyes. Playing the new support. And we're up against Kashtira. And D Fissure. Man, I'm glad I have Lightning Storm in hand. So what are they banishing? Uh, we lost we lost Photon Emperor, which is really unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, and they grab a bunch of stuff. Shangra Era. Diablosis. Is Diablosis banned in the TCG? I think it is. Um, but they make an error here. Uh, they probably should have banished our uh, number 52, but they banish Infinity, which, you know, I, I guess is also a, a good decision. But if they look at our extra deck, they know that we are Galaxy Eyes, right? So they should probably banish at least Cyber Dragon Nova, but this is why you play two copies of uh, number 52 Prime Photon, because of crazy stuff like this. There's a lot more interaction with the extra deck coming out lately and they can kind of just get rid of your monsters so if you have two copies of your important card I know it's an ultra rare so it kind of sucks but if you have two copies of your important card they kind of lose the reward of removing it from your your extra deck so um, that will come up here in a second and they banish even more cards um, don't lose anything super important off that though so they're gonna do some Kashtira stuff. Lightning Storm, gotta get rid of the D-Fissure, and might as well get rid of the other things. So, we go Galaxy 100 to send Photon Jumper, one of the new cards as well. When it's sent to the graveyard, we can add a Photon or Galaxy Spell Trap from deck to hand. Really good card. So he's gonna let us add Galaxy Trance, which we can use right away because we can't get into any other monsters on board. And then we can go ahead and use Photon Orbital, to get our search off, and I remember them thinking for a while here, if they just banished Photon Jumper, they would also get rid of Photon Orbital, but it doesn't matter because they have another copy of Fenrir in their graveyard that we can banish with Called by the Grave to, you know, let us win the game, so that's cool. Get rid of that. Orbital gets to search a Photon Vanisher, so we can add a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, and now I actually have to play around not having access to two of my monster zones. So we're going to go up to Star Liege and put him in the extra monster zone. Banish a Zeus from their extra deck and then go ahead and Galaxy Expo for Afterglow and that is the game. Tons of Xyz monsters on board here too, so. 15k, nice. Man, this new support is so good. Galaxy Eyes. Go in second. And we're up against Ad Emancipator Vern yourself, I guess. So let's skip ahead. Okay, so uh, they set up Naturia Beast, but they whiffed on their Ad Emancipator Researcher flips, so not a whole lot else to worry about. Luckily, Black Dragon is banned, so we don't have to worry about that from them. It was a long time coming, and that's coming from someone who played a lot of Ad Emancipator uh, when the game started. So, uh, we just can't play spells, uh, but luckily Photon Orbital is a monster, so we can kind of manipulate what we're doing here. Um, so, Photon Thrasher, Galaxy Brave, summon, becomes a level 4, and we overlay for Star Liege. That lets us summon Photon Dragon, and Photon Orbital can equip himself, so we have 23 to beat over the 22 for Nat Beast, and then Galaxy Photon can get rid of their Gallant Granite, and then they have effectively nothing. I don't know what the phase down is, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we can move to main phase two and go ahead and play out the rest of our turn. So orbital and they go called by the grave, which is a classic mistake. Um, so 
Orbital is technically an equip spell when it is on board. Called by the Grave says negate the activated effects of monsters on the field. This is another one of Yu-Gi-Oh just being extremely complicated and not intuitive. You would think Called by the Grave would negate Photon Orbital. I've made that mistake in the past, but it actually does not, so we still get to search. Uh, we go for Afterglow and then just go for number 90, I think, here. Yeah, that's my go-to, because it's immune to destruction, it's a monster negate, and it can search something for you. So we're just gonna go ahead and search, and negate that, destroy it, and they don't have anything. Fair enough. I respect it. Uh, they swing in just as a GG's, I guess. And this, this, we don't need to see this anymore. We, we won the game. Cool. Well played. Going first this game. So, we can Galaxy Brave, Photon Vanisher, Summon Photon Vanisher, search a Photon Dragon, and then go for one of the new cards, Galaxy Photon Dragon. So good. They affect Valor. So, okay. Can't do that, but that's fine. Um, I actually still choose to use Galaxy Photon Dragon here. It is negated, but we can use it to chain block just in case they had an Ash. So just to be safe, uh, we are going to chain block with the Galaxy Photon Dragon. And we search Galaxy Wizard, use it to tribute, and they do have an Ash. So, oh well. Numbers last hope. And they go Bestial Druus Worm. Man, they have all the answers, don't they? All right, fast turn. What do you got? Well, I, I guess we, we have a whole lot of nothing. They have Ecclesia, which is a quick effect, I think. And they set a card. Okay. So, Galaxy 100. All right. We can still do something. Send Photon Jumper called by the grave. All right. Well, they really did have all the answers. I'll show myself out. Galaxy Eyes up against Fishies. This is a fun play, Matt. So, we are going to go Wizard, Tribute, Search Galaxy 100, which is just so good. Send Photon Emperor, and they go Maxi, but we have some Bug Spray, so no Maxi for you. Bring out Emperor, Emperor gives us an additional normal summon, so we can go for Summoner, bring back Wizard, and Wizard is not a hard once per turn, so we can tribute it again. Because why not, right? So Galaxy Soldier, search another Soldier. We can use Summoner to make Photon Emperor a level four. Um, Maybe I should have gone for making a soldier level 4 and gone for another level 8 play, but I'm still playing uh, Sub Dragon Nova Infinity, and Infinity is just a really strong card, so you might as well go for that. Photon Dragon can send or add a monster from deck to hand. Actually, Photon Dragon could just add a ton of things, which is just really, really good. This is a really good card. Uh, but I choose to bury a Photon Jumper from deck, which lets us search any Galaxy or Photon Spell Trap which in this case is Photon Sanctuary, which I will uh, play after I go for Nova Infinity here. Cool, cool. And that is gonna let us bring out uh, Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. Awesome. And we are going to pass turn. So what are we up against? And Cash Tira. Ugh. Ugh. Cash Tira. Tear Laments, that is obnoxious. All right, well, um, you saw us use Soul Flare to destroy their Kashira monster. I I don't know. I feel like they could have activated in response. I don't know, that's happened a couple times, so maybe they can't, or maybe I just played against a couple people who don't know how to play the deck. Uh, that's fine. Um, so, Rhino Heart, I am going to choose to negate with Infinity, and it's gonna get banished if I recall, because they did their their summon. And then... <laughs> oh, take that. Take that, Kashtira. Going first with Galaxy Eyes. Maxi. No, thank you. I was lucky. Alright. Photon Thrasher. Photon Vanisher. Galaxy Photon Dragon. Search for a Galaxy Soldier, Galaxy Soldier, pitch a big dragon, go searching again, make it a level 8. We go Galaxy Wizard to tribute again for Galaxy 100. Photon Emperor, normal summon again, Galaxy Summoner, 
Bring back wizard. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Galaxy Trance. Go for Hope Harbinger. Bring out another rank eight. What did we vanish? Oh, okay, so we're up against tier and we got to banish the kit close off of Galaxy 100, which is currently limited. Hopefully it will be banned soon because tier is just an incredibly boring deck. Lord Guru, why are you still here? But this is our end board, which is really good. It's really good. Um, Hope Arbinger and number 90. Obviously, it's not insane. It's not like insanely good. Oh, and we go up to uh, Soul Flare. So we have a, a targeted destruction during their main phase with Soul Flare. We have a monster negate and we have a spell trap or spell negate with Hope Arbinger. And of course, we can search something with uh, number 90. So. It's feeling pretty good. This feeling pretty good. And we banished their kit close. Let's go. Okay, so they're tier, like branded tier, I guess. So we're gonna grab Numbers Last Hope, just in case we have to uh, have a last ditch effort. And we're just saving our negation. They're trying to bait it, but like, okay. <laughs> so we got lucky because we went first against branded tier, but still, still. We managed to beat him. Banish the kick close. Save our negation for the brand of fusion. Let's go. Going first this game. And trade in Photon Emperor just feels so good. <laughs> I, I love that combo. Cool, cool. All right, Photon Emperor summons extra normal summon. Galaxy Wizard, Galaxy Soldier, or uh, Photon Jumper for Galaxy Photon. Pitch Jumper, get two searches off of it. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh, this deck feels so much better now. Because before, we would have had to like waste all of our cards just in hopes of getting two monsters on board for uh, number 90 or something. But like, oh man, it's so good. It's so good. Now we have Hope Arbinger and number 90. Um, and I've also been messing around with uh, Eternal Bond, I think which would let us change Photon Dragon out um, for a rank eight. But they have Book of Eclipse. I was gonna call that Book of Tayo, but that is not what that is. So uh, we're up against Flu, which like props to them for playing Flu after all the bans. I mean, I still don't like you as a human being, but that's fine. Uh, evenly matched sends our stuff away. And they don't understand how Photon Emperor works, so they impermit. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. Okay. Well, uh, all we have to do is get around M Pen and their normal summon on our turn. And they give us an extra draw, which is cool. Now that number 90 is in defense mode, that means we can actually activate and negate one of their effects, which is really good because if it stayed face down from Book of Eclipse, then we would have had to flip it face up and it would be in attack mode and I wouldn't be able to use it. But that's actually really good. So we have negation to set up for our win here and we go Galaxy Summoner and they're of course going to normal summon and they're going to chain block here. So I choose not to use up my uh, my number 90, and now I do negate the Eaglin, and now they can't play on our turn anymore. So full armor photon, destroy the penguin, and we go for galaxy cypher dragon up to, I think, cypher blade to destroy it, but I mean, we win the game at this point. So, up, oh, yeah, there's the surrender. Cool, GG's. Galaxy eyes, messing around with the deck a little bit. Trying to see what works. Uh, okay, they didn't do that much. That's good. So, what do we got? Photon Jumper, Orbital. They banish our one copy of Galaxy Photon Dragon, I think. This is probably why I took out uh, Nova Infinity, just so I could play a second copy of uh, Galaxy Photon Dragon. But Galaxy 100 for Photon Emperor, and they banish him, which is unfortunate, but I can't do anything about that. So, Star Leash, but we can still win. And I banish their one copy of Baron, and we go Prime Photon into bigger Prime Photon. 
12,000 attack. They scoop it up. <laughs> Beaten Kashdira. Galaxy Eyes. Going second. And we're up against uh, Rocket Link, I guess. Dragon Link. Man, oh, I remember this game. It They took forever to make their turn. So let's just go ahead and... Uh... Okay. So that was the thing. Um, they have Boral and Savage Dragon and Boral End. These don't matter because they don't have negations, but they did add a bestial at the end of their turn. So that is something we have to be aware of. They have three pieces of interaction and Droplet. Now they only have one piece of interaction, so that's cool. So Jumper, Emperor. They probably should have banished the Emperor, but I get kind of saving it just in case. So Galaxy 100, they have Ash Blossom, so they had an extra piece of interaction. But they don't have Ash Blossom anymore. So now we can go for... Well, you can't do that, friend, but... Number Chaos 52! Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon! Battle phase, Afterglow, the big damages. There we go. 11k. Droplet is actually really good in this deck. <laughs> I, I think that's probably the right way to play it. Dude, Galaxy Eyes. Going first. So, Galaxy Soldier, Pitch Jumper, and chain block the jumper is so good. I like to chain block it this way because if they have ash and imperm, they would be able to ash the jumper and imperm the soldier. This way they would only be able to do one of those things and I would still get the jumper. So, you know, i trying to think ahead, I guess. Galaxy 100 is going to send and summon Photon Emperor. We're going to go wizard to search brave and we can go for a Galaxy Photon Dragon play here. Not Galaxy Eyes, Galaxy Photon. There he is. So many searches. So many searches. The consistency of this deck was just increased so much. And of course, Galaxy Wizard, not a hard one's return. And Galaxy Photon Dragon makes one of the soldiers into a level 8, which is really, really sweet. And uh, I see their extra deck, and there wasn't a lot of like really good targets, I think. They're probably playing uh, Kashtira with some Super Volley stuff, so I just took away their one copy of Garura. Um, again, I don't see the value in banishing like something if they have two copies of it. So uh, we're gonna bring back Jumper, just in case, just in case something goes wrong. And we have a Spell Negate and a Monster Negate and a Soul Player, which, you know, honestly, Negating Extravagance. Negating a Pot of Greed is pretty decent to me. So, they set a bunch, pass turn. And Dogmatic of Punishment, Elder Entity Oons. I might as well negate that. And we can go Galaxy 100 Part 2, Photon Jumper, add Photon Sanctuary. Cool, cool. Solemn Judgment, okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it, I guess. Maybe I should have tried to destroy it beforehand. So, Cypher Blade. They go big welcome labyrinth. That doesn't matter. At least I hope it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. They set a trap guard. But uh, funnily enough, if they had chosen to destroy the Cypher Blade instead of the Hope Harbinger, we would have been in bigger trouble because the Hope Harbinger had Photon Emperor under it, which means now we can summon it back when it gets sent to the graveyard. Galaxy Expo for uh, Afterglow, and then win the game. So let's see if I go into, yeah. <sighs> Battle phase, Afterglow, make my attack enormous, die! Yeah, I couldn't get the tank pick, could I? It's unfortunate. I think Prime Photon actually would have gotten more damage, but it's safer to swing with the, the Chaos version of Prime Photon because he's immune to monster effects. It's so good. Well, that is going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe and all that. I've been messing around with the deck quite a bit, so if you want to see more Galaxy Eyes, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.